Damn musicality. What's cracking, Pimpin' Can? If you like Sasuke, Uchiha, and you like Killick Rung, you're gonna like this next amalgam. Cracking Pippin Ken, I am your favorite entrepreneur, bass and mentor. And like I said before, if you like Sasuke Uchiha and Killik Rung, this is the video for you. In this Amogamai video, we're combining these two characters into Killik Uchiha, one of three surviving members of the Uchiha clan. Let's get it cracked. Killik Uchiha comes from the Uchiha clan and he became known as one of the last surviving members on the night that his middle brother destroyed, destroyed the, the entire clan. Why? We don't know. But it happened and now he's kind of stuck with it. Fun fact, Killik was born with his Sharingan already activated. He was born with those blistering red eyes. Born with it. As he grew up, he started practicing, of course, the typical uh, Uchiha techniques, which usually revolved around flame. But he also had his own natural techniques that revolved around lightning. And he was trying to build those around the time his brother destroyed the clan. They end up fighting because he needs to know why, why the other brother won't tell him and then that demolishes a good portion of their land and, and sort of their section of uh, the village. He had to go live on his own terms because there was no one else to take care of him. Through school, he gets to meet uh, his annoying rival, uh, Teru Noir. And in meeting Teru, he meets, of course, a lot of girls who like his cool, swag and his confidence and he when he walks around with the glasses and he just a cool dude he ain't ashamed of color because he wearing basically a green jumper dude has a reputation around a lot of girls as just being that guy makara had the biggest crush on him and so did inoxa and if you've seen those videos you know they don't like each other because they both have a crush on killing and he ends up on the team with inoxa instead of makora and she ends up with teru Kid Lee. Kid Lee, of course, doesn't get his, his goal is focused on finding his brother and brothers. And then at the end, just before his uh, tuning exams, he meets his elder brother. To see him after his mission that took years because he had found out what happened and some things happened to him that kept him from getting back to the village. And that he finally came back, he adopted his brother, took him in, and then they started working on, as well as breaking down a lot of their family's sick secrets and history. A pair of twin kaiju slash weapons that were named Ama and Chi. These are short for obvious names if you don't recognize them. Ama is a dragon that produces black flames that only he can control the only way that flame stops burning is if he chooses it to. Now his twin sister is lightning. She uses a lot of lightning, lightning abilities. Her name is Chi. If you haven't noticed where this one's going, her name is Chidori. Things get interesting from that point. But if you made it to this point of the video, you a boss, because you know, I know, at this point in time, you want to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Check out all my previous Amalgamites. Be anticipating the coming Amalgamites, movie reviews, animated series reviews, drawing tutorials, all of that coming down the pipeline. More characters and I try to push this jump, shall we? We try to get to that 20k, you feel me? But I appreciate you coming by. Let's get back to it. Two twin kaijus that were kept secret and passed down only in the Uchiha clan and to those 
who could wield them. And saying they had never ever seen an Uchiha born without with the Sharingan. As soon as he came out the womb, they figured, oh yeah, he's definitely the one, one of the one, if not the one they've been looking for. He could easily bond with these two kaiju. Where his eldest brother thought it would be a pain because for him it was a struggle to just master one. He got it on off record. His brother started training him to one, use his Sharingan differently, but also to start building and working on his techniques between uh, Amaterasu's flames as well as Chidori and his own abilities, while also mixing that with their with a resonance of the soul or soul resonance that produces something very different. It's just before going into his tuning exams, where he's attacked by a kaiju, 100% kaiju, that survives by jumping in and out of bodies. And he finds Killik very intriguing because he can see through the facade of the glasses and notices that the glasses were actually suppressing his eyes. Attacked by this kaiju who basically marks him as the next one to be absorbed. Little does this guy know he's carrying two weapons that aren't too fond of that. So, Killik Uchiha. Yeah, he's pretty much a beast. That's all I got. Um, I will admit, designing this character was pretty easy. I wanted to go more towards Killik. Simply because in Naruto, uh, the, the, the village hidden in the clouds popped up. You didn't really see too many characters of color, in my opinion. So I thought it would be cool to have at least one of them be an Uchiha. And why not be Sasuke? Because Sasuke was one of the characters who's super popular in Naruto. Where Killik, sort of an unknown. And I didn't like that. Especially once I found out in the manga, he's an animal. Like, he can combine with four souls at one time. Nonetheless, making this character was fun. Because it, it was extremely easy for me. I had already had him in my head for a long time. So I was just like, okay, then one thing I definitely want to do is give him more color. Because Sasuke's colors were mainly blue, black, purple, and white. With hints of red. And Killick's colors are like tan, green, yellow. And then the gaunt is turning into like a warm gray. It's like, okay, a lot of warm colors. So let's just choose a color between yellow and blue, green. A color that complements that, which is yellow and purple. Add in some dash, add in some red and blue, because that looks good together. Girl, throw on the gauntlets for real. I had fun. And I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm trying to crack that 20K, baby. That's what I'm trying to do. I appreciate you for stopping by the channel. I am your favorite entrepreneur, base and mental. Peace. Blessings. Nothing but love, and I will see you in the next video.